The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Hi and welcome to the Eagle Sports Network. I'm Caitlin Jones standing alongside the head coach for the track and field team, David Needs. So it's been a while since I've seen you actually. Right. Pretty exciting stuff has been going on. Um, I've seen that you've been, you know, climbing those rankings mm-hmm. in the men's team, been in the top 10 for three sure. weeks in a row, yeah. and then even your women's team was cl- kind of climbing those rankings sure. as well. So tell me, what are you all doing right right now? Well, I think that we have people that are running well, jumping well, and um, and doing the little things well. Um, the whole ranking system, it's not like somebody sits in a room like football or basketball and they say, this team's good, this team's not. You know, it, it's it's what you've done result-wise that, that really takes the, your, your rankings into a, effect. And so for us, our rankings are based on the fact that we have people – like Maka, who was number one in the country, Devon, who's number one in the country, our relay team at second in the country. So we like where that is. Right now, the rankings are based on 30 places. And, and when you go to nationals, it's only based on eight. So a good indicator for us will be where are we in that last ranking before the national championship? Because that will kind of be a, a telling mark of where we figure how many points we could possibly score at nationals with, with the people that qualify. And, and that will have a lot to do with, with maybe even climbing up in the rankings a little bit better. Yeah, so definitely keeping an eye on that as we move forward. Um, it's a busy week for you. I want to say, actually, the Frosties are tonight kind right. of exciting. Um, you know, you may have some people winning some things sure. there. I can't tell you anything, right. but um, tell me – is that kind of something that brings you a little bit of confidence heading into this, or do you think that it's kind of adding to a little bit of the stress of the week? Well, I don't think it adds to the stress. It it, it adds a little bit of uncertainty with the conference meet tomorrow. But um, I think the Frosties have – Adam and the sports information staff have done a very good job of making our student-athletes – um, appreciate the year, celebrate the year, and that's a big part of it. You know, I mean, we don't look at the Frosties. If you, if you go into the Frosties saying, oh, my team should get this or this individual should get this, then you miss the spirit of the Frosties because the spirit of the Frosties is a celebration of Carson Newman Athletics. And so it's always great to be there. It, it's great for our athletes to be nominated because mean, that means they had a great year. <laughs> and, and so to have athletes that are, are being nominated and, and celebrated certainly is good. Um, as a program, we take pride in, in trying to accomplish things. And, and so to have people that have won the national championship and then run the fastest times in the country is, is a great way of, uh, of saying that we have some athletes that we can really be proud of. Absolutely, and that's going to be fun for you all. Celebrate tonight, back to work tomorrow. Sure. Um, speaking of SAC championships, you found out just yesterday right. who all was who was qualifying for what. So tell me, what is the mindset going in? How are you all preparing, and what are you expecting to see? So we care a lot about the conference championship. It's, it's one of those two meets uh, for the entire team where place matters more than, than time, per se. Although time still does matter because we're still trying to qualify for nationals. So... As we look at it, you know, we had a team meeting last week and we said, you know, this is the the meet where winning matters, you know, and so we want to do that. At at the same point, if we put everything, Caitlin, into this meet, we could get people hurt for nationals. And so we have to be very careful that people can can perform at the highest level. So like a guy like Devon, who at nationals we're counting on to run the 100 and the 200 and the 4 by one this meet, we're not letting him run the 200 because we want to save his legs mm-hmm. so that he can be ready to go. And people would say, well, doesn't the conference meet matter? It sure does. But but the national championship matters too. Mm-hmm. And, and so we want, to, we want to make sure that we keep things in perspective. At the same point, we want to, to celebrate. And for a lot of our seniors, this is it. This is it. This is their last chance. Now, we have a last chance meet next week at Lee, and some of them will run in that. But for some, this is it. And so to celebrate their career, to celebrate them, this is the, that last chance – for a team, for the 2023 team to be together as a team. And so we want to go to the conference meet with that mindset, having fun, but appreciating where we are. Absolutely. That's awesome. Well, as always, we wish you the best of luck in the future. And thank you all for tuning in to the Eagle Sports Network.